This video is going to describe how to carry out an underwater fish survey, also known as a visual census. So um, the diver is manually observing and recording fish rather than using a video recorder. So we begin with our scuba diver descending down the shot line or the anchor line. And it's at this point here that our diver is going to attach the tape measure to the bottom of the anchor or to the shot line. On some surveys that tape measure will be attached to a piece of a clone, a piece of kelp or a rock. So the diver now heads out on a particular bearing or perhaps they're concentrating on working at a particular depth range. So when that is sorted the diver starts to swim away from that attachment point and the rule here is that the diver will swim a distance of five meters away from that attachment point before fish recording actually begins. And the reason for that is that the diver and his or her buddy will probably disturb fish in this area and scare them away. So with that in mind, few fish are scared away then the diver swims a distance of five meters and it's at this point here that the survey begins. So the diver is now swimming along at a steady speed and we want to think about the position of the diver. So the diver has good neutral buoyancy. I'm looking at that diver swimming a distance of two and a half meters from the bottom um, of the seabed or from the top of the kelp and they're going to be looking um, both left and right again a distance of two and a half meters in each case two and a half meters left two and a half meters right and they're also going to be looking up approximately two and a half meters as well it's a good idea if you get a feel for what this distance is like underwater by taking down a tape measure and just measuring out um, two and a half meters or five meters. A good way to think about this is to imagine that you're swimming in a tunnel or a corridor with the dimensions of five meters by five meters and you're looking for fish that are entering or leaving that tunnel. So in this example here we're not recording the fish that are outside our tunnel but we are recording the fish that are inside the tunnel. The fish may come from left to right and as they pass through the tunnel you have to count them off. We also need to think about the behavior of the fish so there are some fish that will um, follow us during the dive so it's important that you don't count them more than once. So you continue to count fish along the length of your transect and the transect depending on the type of survey you're doing could well be a 25 meter transect that you're surveying um, so in other words if you're surveying 25 meters you've obviously got a total length of 30 meters um, on your hand reel and other surveys may well require you to survey even further than that so the longest you might be expected to do would be a 45 meter transect so that would mean you'd have a total of 50 meters of line out. We're now going to consider filling in the underwater fish form. This is the one that you can download off the internet but there's nothing stopping you designing your own form. So as we see the fish we're simply we're going to record their presence by putting a tally mark and you've probably all done tallies before so here we'd have a total of five snapper. It might be the case that you see a number of fish at one time. So you might see three leather jackets, for example, and then a little bit further along during the dive, you might see another two leather jackets. Now, as you can see, if I put two numbers alongside each other here, um, that can cause some confusion. So it's important every time you see your fish or count your fish, you circle it. So rather than being 32 leather jackets, there's actually three and two, a total of five leather jackets for this dive. 
The number of fish species on this recording form is not exhaustive. Um, we could certainly see more fish in this. For example, um, you might spot an eagle ray. Um, that being the case, you just need to add that onto your um, underwater form and just make sure that you make a note of them as you go. So certainly consider adding fish as you might see them on the dive. We're now going to watch um, an underwater survey um, taking place. And you can see here we've got um, some wire attaching the tape measure to some kelp. The fish survey diver is swimming out a total of five meters. And when that five meter mark is reached, the survey begins. So at the three meter mark there. Four meters, and I think in this video recording we'll reach the survey diver who's moving ahead. As you can see, the diver has both the reel and the uh, recording slate held in the left hand, so using the right hand to uh, record the fish scene. You can see that reel is unwinding quite easily behind him. And for this particular diver, you'll notice that the professional that he is, has got a compass actually on his slate there as he goes. So we're looking at two and a half meters to the left, two and a half meters to the right, and what's available just below. So I think that sums up um, fish surveying.